in this video I'm gonna show you how you can live stream with using open broadcaster you can live stream video games your desktop or basically anything you can you gonna connect to your PC uh, I'm using Windows for this tutorial because even so open broadcaster is free and open source software and I think you should if you enjoy it you should contribute donate or I don't know help the project somehow uh, the Linux version of open broadcaster doesn't does isn't doesn't have all the features that Windows build has so I'm using Windows build right now as you can see okay in this video I'm gonna show you how you can live stream on Twitch TV and YouTube and uh, basic settings and setting up your Open Broadcaster. Okay, let's begin. First, we need to download Open Broadcaster. As I mentioned before, uh, Open Broadcaster and free and open source software, uh, and it's available on multiple devices, so it's free, so you can download it. I've been using Open Broadcaster for some time now, and I'm very happy that it's found or popularity okay download it install it and let's start it i will already have it download so i'm gonna just start it one more thing because of video capture limitation some of the footage won't be captured on the capturing on the easiest video some footage might be missing but i'll explain it and it will be very those few features those footages won't be important so let's begin okay anyway well here's so when we're gonna first start it this is what we're gonna get this is a menu nice this is nothing special okay so i'm gonna first uh, explain how we're gonna use it first thing what we need to do is to create a source a source is something that we are capturing for example right click here head and we are playing on capturing video game so we're gonna play, press game capture okay just the name and it's gonna show us everything that it feels that it can capture uh, if we start the video game here it's gonna tell us that okay you started a video game and I, gonna, I can capture it but I'm gonna one, one more thing uh, so for example he can't capture all the games because GTA Vice for example GTA Vice City uses DirectX 8 and it wasn't able to capture it but when I converted uh, DirectX 8 to DirectX 9 it, it was able to capture it so keep in mind that such a scenario can happen where it won't be able to capture it just okay this is how it goes so for for now we're gonna just leave it alone and press ok here and we're gonna configure it afterwards okay great we added one capture but we can add another capture as well we can for example add the image capture or video capture device we can add a video camera a web camera like this or other things we connected to it for this i'm gonna add for example add the image okay let's add the an image it says this and okay and if you if we are gonna start the preview it you can see that uh, the top layer our images on the top and the below layer if it would be running a game would be underneath it so we can either property edit it and change the opacity if we decrease it this will become transparent or we can just resize it and move it out of the way for that you should select the source you want to change resize or do something with it and press edit source and let's make it smaller okay let's have it okay so pray and as you can see the uh, that is basically how it works what we don't need this let's delete this and for example uh, let's start setting up how we would uh, live stream 
for Twitch. Okay. First thing we need to do is press settings and let's create a new profile. Let's call it Twitch. And let's press it. This will create a new profile. So either we can select uh, if we want to play on streaming on Twitch, we will just select the Twitch profile, or if we are playing to stream on YouTube, we will just select the YouTube profile. So we're gonna just create the profile. Great. Next thing we need to do is select encoding. Okay, the so YouTube provides a basic uh, kilo amount of kilobytes. Uh, it needs for different sources, but this is amount. This is dep depends on your internet speed. So you should leave small cap between your internet upload speed and uh, this. If, for example, if you have a five megabyte upload speed, you can set it to four megabytes. Okay, so I'm going to have it. I have six megabyte upload speed, so I'm gonna have it for one four. This is a uh, uh, speed that it will be uploading our videos to the streaming service server. Okay, let's have it four, and four four megabytes per second can be 720p and 1080p. Okay, this is a constant bit rate. If you can, if you have a uh, if you are not paying for your internet megabytes, you can have it this like this, and it will constant. This means that it will be constantly uploading with four megabytes per second. If you disable this, then it means that the video will be encoded on the fly, and if the video encoder will decide how much uh, megabytes per second should that video get. For example, it thinks that this scene requires. Uh, 2 megabytes per second and not 4, so it's gonna upload only 2 megabytes per second with speed. So it's up to you and what do you think? It's, a, I believe, a nice practice to have it enabled. Constant bitrate, okay. Uh, the codec, this codec should be set on AAC because it's the best codec. It's much better than MP3 codec. And the bitrate is up to you. And the recommended bitrate is on the Open Broadcaster website is 128 megabytes. You can have it around 128 megabytes. If you have a slow internet speed, you can go to 96 or something. It's about So, 120 having video audio codec around 128 megabytes is a good practice. So, I'm gonna leave it on. 128 megabytes and apply. Great. Now let's select broadcasting software. This is where we will gonna enter our uh, our uh, basically we're gonna select where are we gonna planning on uploading our the uh, our broadcast our live stream. So we're gonna select Twitch. Twitch. It's gonna tell us that okay this is. Uh, Settings I think you should have enabled. We're gonna press optimize. Okay, and great. And here, passkey, we should enter our uh, Twitch passkey here. Stream key, not, yeah, stream key. So go to Twitch website, press uh, dashboard, find dashboard, dashboard, and uh, the string where the hell is it here? Because it is string key here. Here is press string key and show string key. And you're gonna select the key, copy it, and paste it here. And press apply. That's it. When you're gonna go live on this stream, uh, the uh, that which will automatically show that this person is live. Okay, the next thing is to set up the video stream. This is a bit uh, tricky. If you are planning to stream, for example, 720p videos, which is 16 by 9, uh, and your video monitor is 10, 10, 
16 by 10 then we need to edit it I'm going to show you what will be the difference between running a uh, 16 by 9 resolution on 16 by 10 monitor I'm going to show it right now okay I, I set up GTAY safety to run in 720p so I'm going to show you what will be the difference okay let's start GTAY setting okay we don't care about this okay great let's alt tab and let's alt tab let's select game capture right click properties and refresh here and select gta y city okay if we press preview preview stream it's gonna show us uh, what's going out in gta uh, gta right now anyway one minute I poked my head out of the gutter for one freaking second and fade shovel shit in my face. Go get some sleep. Okay. What are you gonna do? I'll drop by your office tomorrow Let's and we can start this sorting this up. mess out. Okay. That's on top. And as you can see, uh, the stream, because it's a 720. Uh, 16 by 9 resolution on a 16 by 10 stream is uh, video is cropped so what we can do is either scale this video by heading source and we can scale it however we want or we can just change the uh, original up uh, the stream resolution how we do we do this is but doing it like this stop stream settings and let's change the, this resolution let's now select the 720p resolution on whatever we are planning to upload on our streaming service okay apply okay let's start let's see the game Okay, first let's start the preview. Preview. Start the game. As you. I'll start. As you can see, the video has a, the uh, aspect ratio of the stream is a bit messed up. This shows that whatever other people will see. So let's press edit scene. And let's make it smaller. And if you press Control, you can not Control Alt, no Shift, Shift. You can uh, manipulate it as you can change the aspect ratio, so you can stretch it or whatever. But we don't need this now, so we're gonna just see it like this. Great. And it's gonna remember these settings even if we stop the stream. It's gonna remember it says this is how we should broadcast. If we press set, start the stream, it will broadcast with that aspect ratio. Let's go to the settings again. Okay, we understand how this works. Now let's see. The FPS, you understand this. The more FPS it is, it's higher, it requires more processing power and more internet and better internet connection. Audio, let's, if you would want, you would head. Uh, if you would, if you would want, you would add this is this is the default. It will, whatever the mic, not mic. This is this is where it's gonna take the source of audio default. And if you can add a different source as well. So this is self-explanatory. So I'm gonna leave it for apply. And basically this is it. And finally this is it. Advanced settings. Automatic latency. This, if you are playing online games, you might enable this. If you are getting bad ping, you will enable this. And this is 
how much processing power say video encoding will be if you have a good uh, machine you can say c2 medium or fast or whatever or limited very fast if you have a weak machine uh, the lower you go the uh, less resources it will need to encode so i'm gonna leave it like this apply and okay and let's add finally let's add a string let's add an image let's add the image i showed you before and okay and uh, let's add start preview let's change the source edit scene let's make it smaller and let's put it here okay great great and i'm gonna go online and show you uh, that how it will be broadcasted online profile 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 and press this and when i'm gonna start the stream from here it's gonna go automatically online okay let's let's start streaming let's disable this preview because it will only take uh, processing power disable this preview and see that it will this will go online in a couple of seconds now As you can see, it went online. And if we start this game, you will see that it's online. Okay, great. Okay, great. Let's stop the stream. Stop streaming. Okay, as you can see, this is as easy as it can get. This is how it you can set up for Twitch. Now let's set up for YouTube. Let's delete this or let's have this image. Great, let's have it. Okay, let's enable the preview because we might be needing this and let's enable for YouTube one more thing if you are planning to start on Twitch by default as the videos you can upload on Twitch won't get archived so where the hell is this yeah I think it's in settings settings profile profile profile, profile. somehow you should enable every time you are it, you, by default when you upload on Twitch when you finish the live stream or uh, the videos oh here it is you're gonna press this cog or settings this range and press channels and videos and enable automatically archiving by broadcast my broadcast you're gonna enable this otherwise every time you'll stop broadcasting those videos will get deleted and won't be archived in your video manager okay now let's absolutely let's create a live stream on youtube for this this is a bit different for this we're gonna press first camera press creative studios go to video manager live events and let's create a new live event let's head okay this is great let's have it okay or server and let's have it private uh, select custom because we will want to enter custom settings and you can name it or add so this is up to you press create event let's call it okay this create event and i'm setting it private because i'm just testing it now let's select 
select bitrate for this I'm gonna be running I set up urban error uh, no it let's run it in no, or ATP now I set up this game urban error to run in for ATP and show you how it would how you would set up a game if you would be running it in for ATP and it recommends us to run to have upload speeds of our broadcasting from 500 kilobytes per second for to 2000 kilobytes per second is 0.5 to 2 megabytes per second okay uh, and it in the uh, you would select other encoding key here if it's not selected and it shows us our string key this is our string key okay so let's create our new profile press settings let's create a new profile file call it youtube let's add this encoding setting it depends on whatever you are planning to upload i'm planning on uploading a 480 video so i would have 2000 kilobytes per second i'm gonna have this disabled apply i'm gonna have low low audio because let's imagine that my internet connection is bad and in broadcasting software we will change this to youtube youtube and copy the string key copy and paste it here paste it and let's apply it and go to the next stage video here as i mentioned i'm planning to run a uh, video that is a game that is set on uh, 600, 640 on 480 the resolution of it will be like this so i'm going to show you how it will run and look so i won't change this for now audio is whatever we set as there advanced and let's have it ultra fast okay everything is great okay let's start the game well, we're gonna press here and here we're gonna start live control to press live control to so let's press start the game Tom. and here here we change the game so press properties and let's change the game to quake this is urban terror okay okay let's press preview string to show how it will look okay this is how it looks because this game resolution is low it's less than 720p so let's change it we could either stretch it stretch it to make it bigger press shift here shift and we will make it bigger as how we want we can manipulate it or we can we can as we are planning to do is stream in low resolution no. Add the not head of the set great. Okay, let's disable this and let's make our lower our stream resolution settings video and let's have it that's our game resolution. Okay, so this is the resolution we are planning to stream. Apply. Okay, great. Let's preview our stream again. Let's show this. Okay. And as you can see, we need to change this resolution again. Okay, let's make it small. So, uh, great. I like it. Let's change the color resolution as well. Let's have it here. Cloud. And, okay, great. 
I'm happy with everything. Let's start streaming. If you want, by the way, you can add stream your monitor capture and it will capture this. Let's start streaming now. We don't want this. Preview disable this. Let's tell it okay. Okay, uh -huh. it tells us that okay, it notice that we are streaming to this server. But uh, keep in mind that every new stream you gonna create on YouTube will require a new stream key. It creates new stream keys. That Twitch has one stream key. The YouTube will require stream keys. You so saw every time you should copy the stream key from here and paste it here. Okay. It noticed that we are online and if you press start streaming, it will start streaming and everybody can see. Unless you pre won't unless you press start st start streaming, uh, you won't go online yet. Okay, it thinks it's good and start stream and everything will work just fine. But we don't want that. So this is as as hard as this is how open broadcasting works, how open broadcasting software works and needs setting up. So, and finally, when you are mm, deciding who want to stream for on Twitch, for example, you can select profiles from here. Profile, Twitch. If you want YouTube, YouTube. And then, thank you for watching. Hope it was helpful. Please like, comment, and subscribe.